Hello guys, welcome to episode one of our self-love journey. I don't know, if anyone has any like titles, if you wanted to like spice it up a little bit, let me know, comment that down below and we'll talk. I'll give you credit if you give me a really good one, I promise. You'll get the credit that you deserve if you win. <laughs> That's the giveaway prize, a shout out. <laughs> Will you accept that please? That's all I can give you. Today, today guys. We're feeling good, starting the day, uh, well starting this vlog pretty late to be honest. It is 2.43 at the moment, p.m. Not a.m. guys, not a.m. Like I would not be awake at 2.43 a.m. Unless my body wakes me up, but like not willingly. <laughs> okay, so, oh sorry. I'm like resting my hand on like a container right now. You know, holding a camera is, oh, it's heavy, it's heavy work, okay? Am I weak or something? Like I just can't seem to hold a camera properly. <laughs> Yeah, I've not completely recovered from my binge eating disorder, but I would say I am better. Honestly, there's not many people that do videos like this where they are still recovering from their binge eating disorder. There's just a lot of people that have recovered from it and are giving tips. So I feel like I myself want to be that person going through it with you if you're someone that's going through it at the moment. So that you don't feel completely alone because you're not, there's a lot of people going through it as well. So don't feel ashamed, don't feel like it's you against the world because it's not. Don't think like that. Honestly, if you work on yourself every single day, take it day by day, meal by meal, you will eventually get to a place where you feel better in a sense, you know, like myself. I'm feeling better about it, but not completely healed. It takes time. <laughs> Boy, does it take time. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say, if you do this every day for a month, you'll feel good. No, it's not exactly like that. It's not a linear journey. It's not like a straight line where it's like perfect every single day. And if you are a type of person like myself that's a perfectionist, I, I kind of am a perfectionist. I'm trying to overcome the whole perfectionist thing because I feel like being a perfectionist also comes through in different aspects of your life um, it's not just on you know your work ethic it also applies to other things like you know with the food that I was eating it had to be perfect it literally always had to be healthy or else I would not feel good about myself that's how it was for me being a perfectionist kind of sucks I'm not gonna lie <laughs> it hurts <laughs> it hurts you to be a perfectionist it's just, oh, it's fine, it's okay. We're getting there, we're working on it. So that's all that matters, right? We're working on ourselves. Anyways, let's have a bit of a chat while I have some cereal. My favorite cereal as of right now is from Maple Crunch. Yum, mm, delish. Okay, question, do you guys pour your cereal first or do you pour your milk first? That is million dollar question because i pour my cereal first obviously as you guys can tell um it's not right to pour the milk first just saying i mean no hate okay no hate i promise <laughs> got to make almond milk i used to avoid cereal because i knew how easy it was for me to actually over consume cereal because like it's literally just so easy to eat you know it's just crunchy delicious and it's sweet i literally i am a sucker for sweet food uh -oh. mm. Mm. I'm sorry if you don't come here for a mukbang. I'm so sorry. I like to eat my cereal really fast because I don't like soggy cereal. Like I can't pace myself when it comes to cereal because like I really I cannot get with soggy cereal. Just not my thing. Have you guys noticed this? background you know that it usually means i'm house sitting so if, if you're new to this channel you don't know i'm currently house sitting at the moment i'm dog sitting as well actually come say hi teddy say hi teddy teddy says hi sorry i'm not going to give you any food though he's just here for the food he's not really interested in anything else i'm not going to give you food though i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. I, it's mine to eat. I'm sorry. He's just looking at me now. <laughs> and then after this meal, 
I am going to congratulate myself. And sometimes you really have to talk to yourself nicely and positively because no one else will. You gotta parent yourself, I guess. <laughs> it's weird, but it actually kind of works. I say, good job, Jill, or I'm proud of you, Jill, for eating just enough of cereal for today and I'm proud of you for allowing yourself to eat that cereal because you're craving that cereal you know stuff, stuff like that it tricks your mind to thinking that you know you're actually doing a good job just eating what you need to eat you know it's just it's it's weird how that stuff works but it works right now I'm content like literally just having that portion of cereal. I don't feel the need to have more because technically I'm not eating because I'm hungry. I'm just eating because I'm craving cereal. So, you know, like if you're craving something, allow yourself to have it, eat it, and then just go about your day like it's a normal day and don't overthink it. You're not gonna be going on throughout your day thinking about that thing you're not allowing yourself to eat, if that makes sense. So let's say you're saying no to having a a piece of chocolate literally you'd go the whole day thinking about it and that would drive you even more insane than allowing yourself to have it you gotta be compassionate with yourself be kind to yourself and treat yourself like you would your own child you wouldn't exactly want them to feel neglected and feel like you're not listening to them um, listen to your wants listen to your needs actually listen to yourself because there's a reason why you're craving those foods. There has to be a reason behind it. So we're at the gym. The sun is like sitting perfectly on my face. So all you can see is like roundness because my face is round. I'm feeling a bit flat, but we're gonna get it. We're hyped, we're hyped, we're ready. We're, we're, we're ready to go, guys. We're ready. We're gonna smash it. Let's go to the gym. I got some more curls on. I am cooking some jerk chicken breast. I think it's breast. Um, oh, oh, that one's burnt. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, yes. Yum! That's what we're talking about, people. That is our dinner tonight. Chef's kiss, I can already taste it in my mouth. <laughs> Guess who's waiting for the food? It's not me. It's him. I don't know if I'm sharing tonight. I really don't know. I don't know if I feel like sharing. Do I? Should I share with you? I don't know. And of course, cannot forget the veggies because health. We're hashtag health here. This, my friends, is what I call dinner. Yay! So we have our veg, we have our protein, and we have our carbs down there with the rice. Delicious! Mm. Ah. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's do a little bit of a taste test. I hope the chicken's cooked. <laughs> or if it's not. Yes, yeah, so it looks cooked. Mmm! Yes! Yes, it's got so much flavor. It's juicy. Like damn, this is what I call a meal. Mm. Guys, let me wait. Let me just feed you guys a bit of everything. Have a bite for me. <laughs> Yum. 
Mm. Guys, this is literally an eight out of 10. And it's funny because it's literally just chicken rice and veggies. But if you spice it up and add like, you know, some yummy spices, change up your veg, then like it's freaking delicious. It's just so good. I can't, I, I can't. Mm. This plus TV, Gilmore Girls, perfect night in. Mm. Sorry, no talking now. It's time to watch TV, okay? Amazing. Ooh, maybe I'll have vinegar with this. <gasps> Dessert time. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't had this in a hot minute. This is like my favorite dark chocolate. It's dairy free. Delicious goodness. What more could you ask for in a chocolate? Ain't that right, Daddy? Where you at? There you are. You know that type of chocolate, so it's all mine. Hey, <laughs> yum. I love this. This is my fave. You guys have to try this. If you have access to this, please try it. They have different flavors if you don't like dark chocolate, but like I love dark chocolate. I rated it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm kind of struggling to open this, but you know. Oh, I made it work. Oh, look at how big that. Okay, that's a big block of chocolate. I thought it was like a Kit Kat and I could chop it in half. I usually get like the bar and then it's already like cut for me, but what the heck? That's massive. She's thick. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, she hella thick. Mm. I haven't had this in months. And I don't know why I haven't had this in months. I remember why it's my favorite chocolate now. Chetty, this is good. It's got almonds inside. It's rich, creamy. I wanna watch my Google girls now. <laughs> I literally could not help myself. I just had to have more. I guess you could say this is a healthier version of YouTube Rain. Um, it's not as sweet, but I like it. I really like this. Mm. I find that before my period. I think I'm getting my period next week. I crave like Vegemite or cereal, or like something sugary. Cereal just hits the spot for me this time of the month. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm really trying to listen to my body and eating intuitively and eating until I'm satiated. Even if I give myself like a full serving of let's say cereal or have a full serving of pancakes, I'm trying to actually tune in and talk to myself and be like, if I feel like I'm kind of getting like really full, I, I would start questioning myself, asking myself like, do you really need to eat more? Like, I don't know, it's just like really a lot of in the dialogue so I can get used to eating intuitively rather than mindlessly eating and snacking. I feel like that's how I'm gonna try to do it. If anyone has any other tips on how they learnt how to intuitively eat let us know in the comments below because i'm sure you would help someone else out please let us know it's gonna take time but i believe i'll get there i believe you'll get there if you're struggling to you know listen to your body and eat intuitively i believe we all can do it very much possible if you work towards you know if you work if you work towards it, <laughs> if you do work towards it, it will happen in time. You know, we'll get there. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs>